Plastic pollution. One day in the 1970s, Peter Parker and James invented plastic. And then a few days later, everyone was using it at restaurants, factories, and while walking as well. In the 2000s, people got really lazy and started to throw their plastic on the ground. Throwing plastic on the ground felt normal to people. When Peter was 25, Parker was 24, and James was 26, they had enough of people throwing the plastic on the ground. What should we do? We should tell the people of the world to stop. Whoosh, the wind was getting stronger and louder. We should go now. They quickly ran back to their house and slept till the next day. The next day. People were throwing their plastic on the ground because they like throwing their rubbish on the ground. Oh no, now everyone's doing it. All the fish, sea life and sea life are dying because of us. I have an idea. What is it? We should start a group that cleans up plastic from the ocean. That's a great idea. We should start that tomorrow. Yeah, we should. We need to clean the ocean, but it will take too long. I think we should talk to everyone on a stage and stand up to everyone. So Parker and his friends talked for a bit and decided to go to bed. In the morning, James was being really loud. Zip your lips. Come and clean the chaos in your closet. At two o 12 o'clock, they all ran out of their house as fast as cheetahs. They all stopped by the ocean. The calm waters was like a mirror, but there was still plastic in it. As fast as cheetahs, they all ran to the most populated area to tell everyone about their plastic pollution. Parker and his friends all stopped up on the stage. I prefer to speak with the microphone. So he talked about the plastic pollution and how to stop it, and for them to stop it too. He had the most clean, clear, and loud voice I've ever seen heard. Then they all ran back home and the car was gone. I left the car right here in the garage. Where did it go? So they searched here, there and everywhere. Then James found it at the back of the house and everyone laughed. After a few years, no one was throwing their plastic on the ground and no plastic was in the ocean. The animals and humans lived happily ever after.